so in this question it is saying that there is an ellipse and okay let's make the ellipse first so this is the ellipse and here we have a l this is 2 and this is root 3 right because this is x square plus 2 square plus y square upon root 3 square is equal to 1 okay so a and b are 2 and root 3 here okay now let h is a point here so you have to take a point h somewhere here in between from 0 to 2 okay so this is the origin so i take any random point alpha comma 0 here okay this point is h here okay the coordinate of the point h is alpha comma 0 okay and alpha is any number from 0 to 2 right so that means h is a point it can be any point okay from 0 to 2 on the major axis semi major axis now so this point is h a straight line drawn through h parallel to the y axis crosses the ellipse and its auxiliary circle right so the auxiliary circle of this one is going to be like this this is the auxiliary circle right now if i draw a line parallel to the y axis okay and passing through the point h it is going to be this line here right it is going to be this line parallel to the y axis and passing through that point h with the coordinate alpha comma 0 okay now this line this blue line parallel to the y axis intersect uh, the ellipse at e and the auxiliary circle at f okay so this point here becomes f okay and this point here is e okay the tangent to the ellipse at the point e intersect the positive x axis at the point g if you draw a tangent at e it intersects the positive x axis at this point here okay this is the point g okay and the angle here the straight line joining f and the origin makes an angle phi with the positive x axis that means this f here is making an angle phi this angle phi here so i can say the coordinates of f is going to be a cos phi comma a sine phi okay and the coordinates of the point e is going to be because phi is the eccentric angle here okay so e is going to be a cos phi and b sin phi okay this is the coordinate of the point e here right now there is a tangent drawn at the point e right so the equation of any tangent to the ellipse is given by t is equal to zero right so i can say x x1 upon 4 plus y y1 upon 3 is equal to 1 is the equation of any tangent at the point x1 comma y1 here the point e is given by this right so i can plug the values for x1 i'll put a cos phi for y1 i'll put b sin phi and get the equation of the tangent line okay and here what is the value of a a is 2 right so a is equal to 2 of course fine so the point f i can say is a is equal to 2 so i can say this is 2 cos phi 2 sin phi b is root 3 okay so 2 cos phi for b i will write root 3 okay root 3 here so i have the coordinate of the point e right i'll plug it in this one the equation of the tangent line this is the tangent line t here this one right so x into 2 cos phi upon 4 plus y into root 3 sin phi upon 3 is equal to 1 is the equation of the tangent okay so this becomes x cos phi upon 2 plus y sin phi upon root 3 is equal to 1 right now we'll have to find the point g okay where this line is meeting the positive x axis here so i'll just place y is equal to 0 so that gives me x is equal to 2 sec phi okay so the coordinates of the point g is 2 sec phi comma 0 okay this is the point g here this one okay now i have to find out the area of the triangle f g h right so i have all the points i have the point h h is what alpha comma 0 and what is alpha alpha is the x coordinates of these points right that is 2 cos phi so alpha is 2 cos phi so let me just write the 
three coordinate points of the triangle FGH. Okay. F is this, right? The coordinate of the point H is 2, 2 cos 5, comma 0, right? F is this and G is this one, right? So I have to find the area of the triangle FGH, right? I have the coordinates FGH and this is a right angle triangle FGH. So the triangle is FGH. This is the triangle, okay? So the area will be given by half into base. Base is how much? 2 sec phi minus 2 cos phi. The difference between G and H. Okay. And the height of that point F is given by coordinate of the point H that is 2 sin phi. Okay. 2 sin phi. So this is the area. Now we can say this simplifies to 2, 2 cancel 2, 1 minus cos square phi upon cos phi into sine phi here. Okay. So this is 2 sine q phi upon cos phi. So this here becomes the area of the triangle FGH. FGH. This thing here is the area in terms of phi. Now for all the different options, there are different different phi is given. You have to just plug in the value of phi and see the correct option, which one is correct, right? So for example, if you plug phi is equal to pi by 4 in this one, the area that you will get is 1, okay? For the value pi by 4, this will return you the value 1, okay? And for phi is equal to pi by 3, the area value you will get is 3 root 3 upon 2, okay? So the first one goes for 1, that is q. Second one goes for 3 root 3, that is t. So q and t, I can find in only one option that is option number C. Okay. So we can choose option number C from here and other thoughts you can get. Okay. For the third one, we are going to get one upon two root three. This is S and the last one is going to be P. Okay. So option number C becomes the correct answer for this one. Okay. Thank you.